so in this video let's talk about the creating the responsive contact us page for your html uh, page right so to do so i have the design ready for me uh, here, here is the design and we we are going to create this kind of a contact us where there is a heading then description then two input blocks for the last name first name email then contact uh, so that is phone number that is a drop down for the countries as well two to three countries or whatever the countries the user contact form wanted to have right and then the uh, message input field right then the finally the button the on clicking one will be sending the mail or something uh, going to save the data to the database right to do so uh, first of all we will have to create a one folder it could be uh, your existing uh, you know project where you want to create contact us form for me uh, as i am going to create it as a new so it will be a folder for me where i will be creating a contact us form uh, called the uh, html file and where i will be first of all we will be uh, adding a uh, creating a body and then inside it will be linking the fonts font of this one that is font will be poppins so i will have to add that form as well and then i will be creating a form here so let's uh, do that one so i will go to my uh, vs code editor where i have created already created a folder and i will be adding a uh, file here contact us dot or a contact dot html simply and here i will be uh, creating my uh, body that is hold so i am using an extension here uh, that going to create me a basic html uh, you know body so i will uh, uh, shift i will be clicking on the shift uh, explanation mark which we will i will be getting uh, this uh, body uh, border plate for my html page so i will be just uh, you know changing the name here title that is contact us and uh, that's it so next i will be doing is i will be adding a poppins form so uh, i will go to the google fonts google fonts poppins yeah here it is i will fonts.google.com and uh, i will be selecting the poppins from here so let's try poppins Yeah, this one. To select this font, uh, I will just go down, and uh, here we have selected families. Inside the families, I am selecting the, I am us unselecting this, this all of them. And uh, first of all, I will select our poppins. Where is this? Where is this? Okay, here we go. So basically, which font weight we are needing is a uh, 700. So I will click on 700. Ah, uh, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. That this one. Then again, we will be needing four hundred. Then five hundred. So five hundred. Then four hundred. And uh, that's it. I guess so. Yeah, four hundred, five hundred, and seven hundred. It's yeah, four hundred is already there. So I will be clicking on that one. I have already selected. Now what I will do? I will just copy. You can do uh, two th two way. You can add in say uh, this font to your HTML. That is in the, inside the HTML, inside the head tag, or inside the style. Log. So I will click on the style because this will be very much easy to do. So I will again create one style dot CSS file here because anyway for styling I will have to create a style dot CSS. So I will just add uh, this line here. I will remove the style from front and the back, and that's it. And uh, once that has been added, I will just copy this. this line that is css root and uh, below that i will just add a body and uh, inside the body i will just pass on this font family so it could be get applied to whole our html page so right so i will just go and open the file explorer and uh, click double click on it so that i can have the preview here so this is been done so our font has been added so let's go to the our uh, front end design First of all, I will be creating this contact us head. So I will just go to my body, and I will first of all I will create let's say a container uh, which could contain the our form, outer form that is container, right? Then uh, I will go to design. I will create a one head that is contact us head, contact us, sorry dash us. head then inside it i will be just copy the content and i will just uh, 
call it as a p tag they sorry not a p just added this content right so i will just now i have added this one so i will just copy this css from here and inside the style.css i will just move uh, call it as a head sorry contact us what is the class name of it contact us head okay so contact us head just paste the style here i will remove this style name from here so font family is already been applied so no need to that and the text align left we don't need we need center because that will going to be center uh, that looks like to be okay let's refresh so you can see uh, the style has been rendered let's see if that has been applied or not okay contact us we have forgot to link our style.css here so i will just add a link css that is style.css from here okay so i will just refresh now see now you can see the style has been rendered also the fonts has been rendered and also the uh, you know, all the css for it has been rendered so now that has been here i will just now click on description so i will create a next div that is uh, contact us description d e s c r i p t o i m sorry then create this one just copy the text from here then paste you can to copy the paste uh, sorry to copy the text just click on this text or either click on this copy button so that has been here and i will just copy the name of the class i will move to our css just add the class and just copy again uh, this typography section whole remove this one remove font family text align center that is okay now you can see this is this has a max width as it is 518 meaning that this has a particular width and we want to be keep that width uh, as it is so we could use a max width parameter here uh, to specify the width that is 580 518 so let's try to refresh so you can see that this width has been applied but that is on the left side right now right so what we can do is we could add uh, margin auto let's try that one okay margin auto will help margin auto will add some uh, you know automatic margins on the left and right hand side depending upon the width of the section so it will move to the center of it that is let's look okay now so i will just add a margin here auto and then uh, again i will have to add some you know spacing around it like top and the bottom as well that is 51 51 so top is 40 below is uh, 51 so to weight the margin a uh, uh, margin goes parameter goes from top left sorry top left bottom and right so we want left and uh, left and right to be auto and top and bottom to be added so i will add a top as a 41 px left is auto that is okay bottom is 51 px and the right is auto okay so this will add top bottom and uh, it will remain in the center so you can see this has been successfully added and you can see the margin out outside here okay now that has been added so let's add our first form i will just format this one with the format document or command on the html sorry from the vs code now the actual form i will be adding uh, that is that this will be post form so action depending upon the where you want to redirect this form after the post form post request that can be added there but i will just uh, remove that because we don't need that right now now next thing is like adding a label and the form label and the form so i will what i will do i will just create a wrapper for this one that is input i will call it as input box this will remain same for all the inputs then label and this will take a for so it depending upon the input field we could provide a name and a label name there will be and then the input actual input so for now the first name last name will be text so input will be text t means text right so i what i will do i will just copy this to uh, just paste as you can see this has been in a row right so we again need to wrap this one inside the particular div so that we could add a, you know add a create a two columns so uh, to do so i will just 
provide first last and wrap and i will move these two sections up in that uh, in that uh, section to move uh, from the keyboard just click on alt and up arrow okay so this has been there so i will again copy this uh, section from here paste one more time two times one more now i will change uh, first name last name in text second is email so i will take change to email then phone number is a number field so it will be number remember we also have to add select here as well select drop down that can be you know take a uh, uh, you know having a drop down and the last one will be text area so this will again change to text area so it has default 30 columns and 10 rows we could provide some restriction on this one as well we could see how can we can do this one okay now let's uh, add our first general css first of all for input boxes input and text area like uh, you can say this border margin or something so what i can do is i can i can copy which css i can copy okay so i can copy definitely the border border is uh, of color this one so i will just add a border 1px solid and the name of the color this hash 9c 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 then color of this one is grayscale white but i don't think so yeah grayscale again grayscale okay so color again will be the same so again color will be the same and uh, font size will be uh, now uh, we will we can copy this one so that can be applied in the inside the input boxes and text area so this will add a font size and all the stuff and, uh, and that's it uh, let's try to refresh you can see uh, this has been okay okay has been rendered so next thing I will be doing is I will be adding placeholder for each and everyone so that we can see the input as well. So I will just copy this text placeholder attribute that is first name to text copy the text just click on that then placeholder again last name copy paste for email it's email. placeholder email then phone number uh, I guess this should be something else so seems like a designer's mistake it's not be a first name this should be a phone number okay again your message that is okay placeholder your message now there is refresh okay now this has been okay rendered correctly so again we can do is like we could add a width to be 100 percent that we wanted to have the width 100 percent of the particular section so that it could take whole so you can see now this is taking whole as a section and again the padding on inside it that is 1832 1832 1832 is fine it's everywhere is same or I guess 30 could be fine so padding inside padding it could be top bottom will be 18 px and left right will be 30 okay now you can see this input boxes has been bigger so this bigger boxes of will be 62 height is it 62 is it 63 so I will just add something little let's try now so 61 so 18 is fine no matter the if there is one pixel it's okay now uh, our label and uh, we haven't added label so let's add labels as well so first name first name so label will be going here so this four will be going for first name so i will just add name yan capital 
like this one and this will go for the fourth then last name will be the same so copy paste just remove the space copy again paste it there last name again here again email will be the same here here as well and also here as well you can also add uh, id same as a name if you want but you can keep it as a different as well but for this this time being i will just keeping as the same so phone number as well needs to be added to the four copy paste copy paste then your message as well copy paste name of it as well so we have added our labels let's add a label css as well so i will copy the css labels so label will be having the css of this one so remove the first two this will make sense okay now color is something different so let's add a color as well here in a color add a 333 and other than that it's look like to be okay we added a weight as well so let's refresh now we can see the label has been also rendered now this form is stretching below the form and is taking whole width and also it is scroll bar as well right so what we can do is we, we can do one thing that we could as a max width to the, this section whole section that it can remain in the floating point of view that is page so to do so uh, what i can do is i can add a form max width to the form max width will be the width of the text area that is below that is 839 839 also the margin will be auto so that it could remain in the center now let's try okay this is been in the center margin auto has not been added okay now it could it is remaining in the center as well right so this is we have successfully added that one as well uh next thing i we have to do is we need to make sure that this is in two rows so you can see the first and last uh, wrap i could add a display property to be flex and a justify content space between space between so that it can go you know stretch uh, to the end to end so i could add this one as well uh this take copy paste Uh, display sorry not inline it should be flex and uh, justify content to be space between okay now this is okay looks okay something is missing something is missing here while copy pasting okay we have removed this one so again we could do the same that is display flex it will not take more than more time margin auto margin we don't need it was a justify content space between so now look looks okay now uh, if you can see if i inspect this page uh, you can see if i go to the element on the form you can see the input where the elements are going beyond the form right so why this is might be happening uh, might be because the padding that we have applied is taking you know outside that is increasing the width of the particular element due to this this might be the reason that it is going out of the box so to do so uh, there is an important property we need to consider and we should add in every page or at least on the you know uh, root style or css that is star and uh, for every element on the html page do a box sizing that box sizing needs to be border box what now this what does it mean right if the uh, if you have the extension then you will be able to say the specify the behavior of the width and height properties so this means that the whatever the padding we will be adding to the element particular element 
Uh, it could be div, it could be input box, it could be anything on the HTML pages, pages that needs to be included in that particular width only, not outside. Like currently what is happening, it's going outside, right? This, uh, if you see on the margin side, on the right hand side, uh, there is an input box going outside the box. So if I refresh now, now these boxes needs should be uh, remain inside the particular box size only. Now, out, now not outside. Now, if you can, uh, if you inspect the element, the width also been uh, reduced, and the boxes are inside the particular, uh, you know, specified width. Right. So, also in in a particular way, uh, in a main time, uh, I also added this uh, container. Also, we could add a container uh, max size as well. So, I will just copy the container. I will just add here. So uh, we can also add max size width for the container as well. That is 1200 px. That is by default width we take the for HTML pages on any uh, website. So that that could be added here, and also my ma uh, margin auto so that it could remain on the center, right? So if I refresh now, this will remain. This this going to add some margin like you can see, and this has been added now. So uh, as we know, we already have added this display flex property for our. Uh, uh, here on the first first and last wrap so what we can do is like we could add a width 100% we have already added and that uh, padding also been added inside the input box so now uh, what we can do is what we could add a width to be 50 50% for all the elements inside the that flex property so now this is taking only 50, uh, 100% sorry 50% so I will go there and I will add a hundred percent width. Let's try. Sorry, it to be hundred percent and width to be hundred percent to input boxes. Remember, this is going to be one the input boxes, so it could take the you know uh, equal width of the particular flex box. So also we need to add a margin as well because in the design you can see there is a fourteen px margin. So what I can do is like I could add first of all I will add this uh, width to our uh, input boxes so it can be can take the those bits that will be 50 percent okay uh, I'll just add dot here now on the first of input box I will do a margin let's try that one I will just use a pseudo element of the first child that is first child and I will add a, sorry I will add a margin left to be 10 px sorry 14 px directly now let's try what the result gives okay this seems to be on the left hand side not we need on the right hand side so you know now this width has been now the specific has been added by this one so now you can see the page is already almost is done uh, what needs to be added is that is spacing inside the this particular divs that is 19 px here uh, 19 px here as well and 20 px here so i will use as a 19 px as a by default margin for the input boxes uh, remember we okay so boxes inside the first and last we don't need a margin so i will just add a margin to be zero there and uh, the boxes which are outside the you know di direct directly exposed to the our HTML page that is input boxes I will add them as a margin top as a 19 px so let's see what is the result so you can see uh, I hope so there is no margin here so you can see the margin is not applied to the first and wrap first last uh, last wrap but this has been applied to the input boxes which is outside that particular wrap so now the padding uh, margin also has been added uh, so it's almost done. So now the last element is like you can see the in uh, US message is resizable, right? So to make the thing uh, fixed width, I will just add a text here. There is a property called uh, sorry, the resize property for the text area that needs to be both horizontal, non vertical, or calculated something depending upon the need. So I will just add a none right now because we don't want to have the you know uh, changing in the width. Also, the height of the width is almost 178px. So, to do so, I will just inspect the element. 
I will go to text area. I will go to its rows. Rows needs to be uh, removed. I will just try six. Uh, now try try the height. That is one zero seven. So also needs to be reduced to four. Now width is one one fifty five. Height is one fifty four. Sorry. So I will just add five. Yeah, one eighty one is fine. We don't have to do hard coding. Hard coding for that one, but it could be remain flexible depending on the. It also takes the consideration of the uh, font size as well. So it's okay to have the one seventy one eighty one as a height. So last thing we need to do is we need to add a button here. So let's add that one as well. So I will move to our contact as form. Uh, Now below the above the form ending form, I will just add a button wrap so that it could remain. We could add this, uh, if needed the CSS for that one, we could add an as well. So I will just add a button wrap. Then button button needs to be submit one. So I will just type submit then submit. Uh, okay, just copy the class and uh, paste all our style dot CSS. Then add a text align center because we wanted to have the button in the center. Now to the button wrap, type on button. Now let's add our uh, CSS to it. I go to inspect. I will just copy this CSS from here. Just paste. Height uh, could be adjusted by the padding, so no need, no need of that one. Width uh, also needs to be added, but left could be removed. Top also been removed. Border radius could be. Dead. Button is here. Let's try font size. This one has been copied. Paste it. Okay, text align to be center. Now the color background color is remaining. Still, actual background color is is this one. So background color. Also, the color we need to add is black. Uh, sorry, white. And the font size is already been added. We don't have okay. The border is of three cc px. So let's run the border one px solid color code refresh. You can see this has been added. Now the margin needs to be added. That is forty px. So I will just add a margin top as if fourteen px here. Now done. So this way we have completed our contact as form. It's also taking the consideration of the width or max width that we have provided to the our classes as well and the container as well.